Hello everybody, in this video I'm going to show you how you can integrate the water and swim system into your newly created project. If you enjoyed any of the videos on this channel and if you are a fan, could you do me a quick favor and hit that subscribe button. Surprisingly, 85% of the people who watched my videos are unsubscribed. Your quick action of hitting that subscribe button will support this channel and as it grows, we will be able to share even more free content with you. This video is for the water system version 1.03. So if you are watching this somewhere in the future, go and check out a future video that I've created for an updated version of the water system. But if you downloaded the water system from my Patreon, or if you buy it from the Unreal Engine Marketplace, you should be okay with this video. So if you bought it from the Unreal Engine Marketplace, what you need to do is just integrate it and import it into your project. And that's it. If you're a Patreon member, just download this archive file, which is .zip, right click on it and click extract. When you extract the files, you're going to have this folder, double click on it, go under content, and here you can find the interactive water and swim system provided by CG Divers. Select this folder, right click on it and just copy it. Now let's paste it into our project. Right now, the water system is created with Unreal 5.3 version, so everything above 5.3 will work. If you're using Unreal 5.2, it will not work. So go under Content, right-click, click Show in Explorer. Now once you open your project over here under Content, you just need to right-click and click Paste. Now we are pasting our system into our newly created project, okay? I'm just going to close this. And here you can find the folder. Open it, go to Maps, and go to the Interactive Water Showcase. Double click on it. And now you can see the showcase over here. You can see the river body. You can see here the walking in the water, uh, which slows the character down. You can see the floating bodies, the eight point per set, the four point per set, the one point per set. And finally, here we have a physical object with tack water, which will generate ripples when you start moving it over the water. OK, the first thing that you're going to try is just to click play and you're going to see that your character is floating here and just swimming in in the air. With the downloaded files, I also provide a PDF with everything in written. But the first step that you need to do is go to edit go to the project settings and we need to set up a collision layers go to the under engine collision and here we need to select the object channel and the trace channel first click new object channel then we need to give it a name the first object channel will be water body water body and this should be set to overlap click accept and we need to create one more channel, which will be our trace channel. And in the trace channel, we need to trace the water surface. So I'm going to put as a channel water surface. And this water surface should be of type ignore. Click accept, close it. And then when you hit play, the character will be working. If it's not working, what you need to do is you need to reset Unreal Engine. So close Unreal Engine and open the project again. Sometimes the collision layers are not working straight out of the box. And for me personally, it didn't work. So I reset Unreal Engine. So if your character is not swimming, just restart Unreal Engine. So everything can take effect. Let's test this out. I'm going to hit play. And if I click my left mouse button, it will simulate splashes. I've hooked up an action that you can simulate like particles, like bullets. And now when I start walking, you can see how my character is slowing down. Go underwater. We can see the pause process under the water. If I hold shift, our character is swimming. We can do a slow swim. We can dive with control on my keyboard. Here is too, not too deep. Let's go to the river. Let me go to the river pretty quickly. Here is the river. You can see how the objects are floating slowly based on the current. So let's go to the river. Let's swim. Let's move like that. Let's hit control so we can dive. We can go up, right? We can swim a little bit faster. So this is pretty much the first setup that you need to do in order the water and swim system to start working. Keep in mind that right now I'm reflecting the screen space over here. And that's why you can see those green 
points over here because we are reflecting the sky. If you don't want a screen space reflection, just double click on the master material, which is this one, the M water waves. Open it a little bit like that. Search in the details panel for reflection. Click on the screen space and hit apply. That way you're gonna get rid of the screen space reflections if you don't want them to be included. Okay, so this is the settings over here. Now let me explain the two main surface. The first one is the river surface, which is controlled by a spline. And the second one is the water surface. Those are the two main components so far. We are working on an ocean, etc. but this is coming soon. So the first component is water surface. What you need to do is just drag and drop the water surface into your scene. Move it where you want to be. So let's say I want this to be like a little pond over here. And now when I hit play and I go in this little pond, you can see that our water is working. We also have caustics over here. By holding shift, you can swim. So the water surface here, it has a depth over here, which controls the depth of the water body. The next is you can enable and disable the caustics. And here inside this water surface, you have the floating box, you have the caustics, you can move them up or down if you want them a little bit up a little bit down depending on it the next one is the simulation distance it controls how far from the player the waves are simulated this is for optimization keep in mind in order this surface to work and to be interactive as swimming you need to use material instance from the master material water waves so use the master material water waves right click on it create a material instance and start tweaking it Keep in mind that every material instance has tons of features like you can simulate flow, you can simulate flowers, foam, leaves, rain. If I click this, you can see that we have rain ripples over here. I can turn them off. You can change the color of the water. You, we have a color on the surface, a color on the depth. We have color correction and tons of other features that you can explore. Let's go to the next thing, which is the river surface. Just drag and drop the river surface move it how you want to be over here and in the river surface we have a spline just select the river spline select it and what you can do is you can create segments from the spline over here we have just one spline and if i select this point hold out on my keyboard and start dragging and creating one more points the idea here of the river is you need to have an even space between the first spline point and the second spline point okay this is important for the tiling now i'm gonna hold out again and I'm going to make this point like that, hold out, make this, and we are creating this river. So you can create the river using the splines and also you can move them in height. So you can make the river a little bit like that up. Let's say this is somewhere over here. Let's say this is somewhere over here. Let's move it a little bit like that. Move it a little bit like that. When I hit play, my river right now is interactive. It has a flow. You can swim in it and everything is working, okay? This is how easily you can create rivers and this one is using material instance which is flowing water. Again, it is material instance from the water waves and you can tweak up everything over here. The river body itself has some more parameters. You have flow speed, flow direction, splash threshold, max splash distance, you have the simulated distance, the depth and the caustics enable. So from here you can set up how the speed of the flow you want to be, how the splash threshold you want to be, do you want to exclude some actors from the splashes, etc. If you enjoy the content and wish to support the channel or if you're interested in accessing the files for this project and everything that I've created so far, including the landscape auto material, the water shader, the fog material, the Blueprint Mega Kit, the Interactive Water System, the Interactive Foliage System, the PCG Path, the PCG Ditch, the PCG Forest Pro, and every other tool and shader I've developed and will continue to create in the future, visit my Patreon page at patreon.com slash cgdealers. By selecting a tier, you can acquire the assets you want while supporting the channel and the ongoing development of new tools and enhancement of the current tools. For those who simply want to support the channel, I've introduced a YouTube membership option. By joining, you will get access to our private Discord lobby where I'm most active, providing priority support. Please note, 
This membership doesn't include access to download tools, shaders, system, blueprints or any other content like in Patreon. Enroll in this membership if you don't want to pay for Patreon but want to donate a Coca-Cola or a coffee. This support helps me stay fueled and continue creating videos for free for you guys. Thank you so much. Now let's deep dive into the video. The next thing that I want to explain is how you can create a float object. So let's create quickly a cube. I'm going to create this cube and I'm going to move it here in this pond. Just like that. Okay. So this will be my floating object that I want to put into my pond. Okay. How easy it is. Go to your cube in the details panel, search for floater and add floater component. Okay. In this floater component, we need to select the setup. Do you want to be out to 1.4 points? So I'm going to use eight points and I'm going to select for the total floatiness, I'm going to put 50k. Then the next step is you need to simulate the physics. So I'm going to check the simulate physics. So right now, if, if I hit play, you're going to see that my cube is jumping like that out of the water. And how you can fix this is just simply control the total floatiness. It should be a little bit less. So you can have more of accurate cube, just like that. So play with it. And right now we have this floating cube. And I can just push it around. You can do this for any object that you want to float in the water or the river. And if you tweak the flow speed of the river, for example, let's do one or let's do two. And if I hit play, you can see that our float object will go with the river current and we spawn some splashes behind our object. You can change the splashes. Of course, those are here just for the sake of the system that you see that is working. Just use splashes that you find to look good. But the floating objects are working also with the river current. And the final thing that I want to show you is how you can set up your custom character to work with the water and swim system. Right now I'm going to use the default mannequin of Unreal Engine, not the one that I've created for this water system. So just drag and drop it or use your character, use the possession over here just to have it working. And right now if I go into my water, it's not going to swim. Everything is not working. Just the splashes and the interaction between bodies are working, which is broken. So let's set the character. The first thing is I'm going to open this BP third person. The first thing in this one is you need to delete the camera input, the movement and the jump and just copy from my character. So I'm going to delete this one and go to the folder blueprints and open the IWS character. When you open it, just copy and paste the look, move and jump. So I'm just going to select them, copy, paste them here in the blueprints and move them over here. The next step is we need to add the swim component. So go to add and search for swim and add this swim component to your character. The next step is to select the mesh character, go to add and add a scene. Rename this as float point. And this will be the point that determines when the character will start floating. Go to the details tab under tag. You need to add the float point tag, float point. And after that, what we need to do is we need to select the socket. So here under socket power and socket, let's select the neck 01. So when the water level rises to the neck, to this floating point, our character will start to float and you will be able to swim. I'm just going to move it a little bit up over here. So this will be the starting point where my character will start to float in the water and start swimming. For the next step, let's add a bubble emitter. Again, select the mesh character. Go to add and search for Niagara particle system. So select the Niagara particle system and let's rename it bubble emitter. Now we also need to add a tag. So go over here, search for tag, hit the plus and add bubble emitter tag. After we add the tag, what we need to do is we need to select the bone that we need to attach the bubble emitter. So I'm going to open the parent socket and I'm going to select the head. Over here, we selected the head and we need to add the actual particle system. So go to the Niagara system asset and select the bubble emitter. And as you can see here, we have some bubbles, but they're popping out from the head. So I'm just going to move it a little bit further, somewhere around the mouth. 
So when you're underwater, the bubble emitter will be enabled and you're gonna see bubbles over here simulating some oxygen going out from the mouth of your character. This is for the floating point and the bubble emitter, then compile and save and let's move on. And next under the file camera, what we need to add is our underwater camera post process. So go to add and search for underwater and select underwater camera. Now compile, save, go to the mesh character, which is the rig. And here in the animation class, what we need to use is IWS Anim BP. Select it, compile and save again. And let's test the final result. If everything is working, we have the ripples here. And right now we don't have the ripples when our character is swimming. It is floating, the camera is working, the caustics is working, the animation is working. And what we forgot is to add water tag to this character. Each object that you want to simulate ripples should have water tag. So let's fix this thing, open the BP third person, select the BP third person character self, go to tag, and here under mesh, add attack water. And here under actor advanced tag, add one more tag, which is water. Okay, compile and save. And now everything should work like a charm. Let's do a final test. Go over here, jump. We have the ripples. We have the waves. When we are swimming, let's deep dive. Let's go up. We have the waves again, down, up. All right, so everything right now is working and this is how you can set up your custom character. Everything is working. Let me go into this river and you can see how the current is moving our character pretty fast. Let's deep dive. Let's go up and the current is moving. If we start swimming to the current, we are trying to fight it, but it's too hard. So yeah, the system is pretty dynamic, pretty good. And one final thing that I want to show you is and if you select the swim component, here are everything that works for the swimming. You have the swim speed, the swim rotation rate, the ground rotation rate. Here you can tweak those parameters in the swim component per character. And here under oxygen, you can set up the max oxygen, the current oxygen, oxygen depletion speed, how fast the ox oxygen can be depleted, the oxygen restoration speed. So when you go to the surface and start breathing, how fast this oxygen will be restored. So right now this interactive water and swim system is available on the Unreal Engine Marketplace. You can buy it from here or you can just go to my Patreon page, become a premier supporter and have everything that I've created so far. The water system, the forage system, the landscape auto material, every, every PCG that I've created and a lot more stuff over here under this tier. You choose what you want. If you want just the interactive water system, it is available on the Unreal Engine Marketplace. But if you want to support my continuous work on a lot of different systems, including this one, go to my Patreon and become a monthly supporter. Thank you guys for watching. See you in the next video. And before I end up this video, I want to let you know that I've created a Blueprints Masterclass for Unreal Engine 5. It is available right now on Udemy. So if you want to expand your knowledge and not just only create art pieces in Unreal Engine 5, but create some characters, create some game logic, my course is the perfect solution from beginners to intermediate Unreal Engine 5 users. The course itself is 15 hours long and it has all the foundation that you need to kickstart your blueprint knowledge in Unreal Engine 5. So if you want to keep evolving yourself beyond just creating art in Unreal Engine 5, enroll now.